received the question if an egregore is a part of a specific cosmos. Um, often people uh, talk about egregores as being part of a certain uh, tradition, a method of self-development. Is the methodology very magical? Is it focused on willpower, on discipline? Is it very mystical? Uh, and thereby being focused on using the heart, connecting to other beings, especially higher beings. Is it very hermetical? Is it based on knowledge, understanding of the cosmic laws, cosmic principles? Or is it hierophantical? Is it actually combining uh, a lot of these methods and looking for a, a harmony? But I think personally that the question, what cosmos does an egregore belong to, to be a much more important one than which method is employed. We find that many uh, egregores employ various methods. Um, so uh, very few egregores are purely magical or purely mystical or purely uh, hermetic or purely um, hierophantic. They often have a focus. What is the strongest point? What is the quality which will help you to make the next step? In your progress but ultimately the progress itself is defined as reaching a higher station within a specific cosmos and this can be the divine cosmos, the satanic cosmos, luciferic cosmos or arimanic cosmos and um, the egregores are very um, quite strongly separated between these two cosmoses because it's also a very different type of transformation that you're striving for. So in a way, um, if you look at, for instance, the Luciferical Cosmos and you have their egregores which are looking uh, for development on a magical level or mystical level or uh, hermetic level, ultimately their results in the changes of consciousness will be very similar. There will be a greater self-awareness, there will be a greater amount of, uh, of self-control, there will be uh, a greater uh, refinement uh, of perception, a better refinement of consciousness. Um, so the, regardless of the method which is employed, the results will be ultimately uh, luciferical results, which will give a higher station in the luciferical cosmos. But a higher station in the Luciferical Cosmos doesn't mean anything in, for instance, a Satanic Cosmos. Um, in a Satanic Cosmos you're looking for a completely different type of development. It is much more, um, uh, you could say, creating a distributed awareness of not just being aware of yourself, but being aware of yeah, the group you're a part of and that group being part of a larger meta group and so on and so forth and all the different purposes of all the different peoples within these uh, different groups and subgroups. So the awareness change which is happening in every cosmos is yeah, completely different. And ultimately what the egregore will achieve is a change of awareness. So you raise your awareness within that cosmos. And this is much more essential than what method is used. So I find that actually, um, for instance, uh, egregores from one cosmos, all being from satanic cosmos or divine cosmos, have a lot more in common with each other, even though they may employ very different methods than um, egregores from different cosmoses, which employ a similar method. It's just if you look at the manifestation, but like what is the incarnated person uh, who's working with Egregore doing, then you see a lot of similarities. Gosh, they're working with their willpower, they're working with their heart, they're working with their head. Um, so outwardly, uh, you could say that yes, you can divide Egregores according to method, but if you look at results, uh, it's much better to divide them per cosmos.